Welcome back Twitch, welcome back YouTube. Let's get back to just another game, Persona 5 Royal. It's finally time to leave the palace. And the cat has been sated for now. The cat has been sated for now. What do you want to do? We secured our route to the treasure. Do you want to get out of here? Oh man, this list is going to be massive. Found the bank. Found the infiltration point. Key card. Bank basement. Safe room. Giant partition. Right key. Left key. We'll see. Giant partition. Bank depth. Safe room. We'll see. Vault. Safe room. Lock. 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 We'll see. Lock. Treasure. My uncle's cat's miffy fun was quite a queen of her abode. Honestly thought she was magical and immortal. That's basically what this one is. She's the queen of the house. Yes! We we finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Yeah. You're right. And once we send it, the heist is the only thing left. We have to succeed. I'll let you decide when to do it, Joker. Let's make sure we're ready before then. I feel like they always set up one of the villains to be, like, tragic. But they do a good job of, um... Uh, Really still making you hate them anyway. Kat is practically as old as I was, yet was still having kids. Kittens even the year she died. Ah, you're back. Okay. Was she a barn cat or a farm cat? Excuse me. You did great today. You tired? When are we gonna send the calling card? We should hurry it up. I have to agree, the earlier the better mod, but we just got out! There is no assurance he will keep his promise, after all. What are your thoughts on the matter, Makoto? Honestly, I can't wait to send it. I want to put an end to his nasty crimes as soon as possible. Uh, don't get hasty. Got preparations to make. Hmm. Calm as always. Well, we'll leave it up to you. Be ready to go whenever you are. Cause like, this is... Uh, always gotta check. Hey. Yeah, fuck you, cat. <laughs> um, let's check the stats. See how close I am to getting charmed. Gonna think. Honestly thought she might one day become a Nekamata. Nekamata sh should still be cuddly though. I will take a care of cat before it comes it becomes the Nekamata. It's probably still a cuddly one. I feel like I'm somewhat close to improving my knowledge. I'm definitely close to improving my charm. No far from proficiency, guts, kindness. She was a market cat. Cats in Nicaragua. Nicaragua. I can never pronounce this country. Nicaragua. I don't know why I can't ever say that word. Don't wander in the streets. Not really fond of the wild dogs. Instead, they live in the marketplace. Uncle can't keep her at home since my mom was allergic. Nicaragua. I know I'm going to say it when I'm not trying. Uh, kind of sounds like, um, the cats in Turkey, like, the strays in Turkey are basically community cats, I've heard. Everybody takes care of strays. Hey. Alright, uh, from close to charm, let's make some coffee. Or actually, no, actually, I got a movie to watch. I got a movie to watch for charm. Let's do that. Oh! Let's watch a DVD. Bubbly Hills 90210. Ugh, you think I go out with her? What do I look like? What? You liar! You told me you loved me just last night! Also need to spend time with Yusuke. Yeah, I'm an exit opportunity. Smith, your phone was not shut, cuddly, she made it clear, touching was not allowed. <laughs> Gave you this there and said, touch me and I'll take an eye. It's a show about young adults set in the ritzy upscale neighborhood of Bubbly Hills. <sighs> oh, is this what high schoolers are like overseas? Don't get any ideas, alright? This is not what high schoolers are like. Hey, hey! I really felt their desperate need to be loved by someone. <laughs> Maybe you learned a thing or two about charm by watching this drama. How? Why? How? Hmm. And I think that should charm up. Yes, it does. We are suave. That's All right. just what we needed. Your charm has increased from head turning to suave. Well, then. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? 
actually, you know, I should be able to... I want to say I should be able to take... The next big burger challenge. We can now do the star confidant. I made it on time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. <laughs> he just lives across the country. I can't be late today, too. I know, as soon as I try not to pronounce it, I'm going to pronounce it right. But I give up for tonight. I tried, I failed. My mouth just doesn't want to do it. Once we unlock it with Yusuke. Not a morning person, you seem busy. Well, I don't deny it. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Nicaragua. Close enough! <laughs> ah, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. I'm sitting here mouthing it, trying to make my mouth work. So sorry. It's so gross and humid, even though it's the end of June. Oh yeah, in Japan, when we, when the rainy season ends, we say that it opens. But in English, it's more common to hear people saying the rainy season, the rainy season comes to a close. Be careful. Yay! It only took seven tries. Expressions for the weather are totally different depending on the, what country you're in. Now then, how about you? Which of these animals is involved in an English idiom about the weather? Well, if we're talking about rain, it's raining cats and dogs. This is it. Good. Wish I could stay longer, but I need to sleep early with this golf. Oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, but thank you for stopping by. I hope it gets better. Raining cats and dogs means it's pouring rain. The strongest theory for its origin is that the sound of rain resembles that of cats, dogs and cats fighting. Some other European, European languages describe bad weather as dogs weather too. No. Hey, did you get that question? Blah, blah, blah. All right. No, oh, the teacher's going nice up. Nice going. And still not point up with knowledge. Which makes my star look really awkward. <laughs> Additionally, in Norwegian, they say it's raining witches, and in Polish, they say it's raining frogs. Each country has its own way of describing heavy rain and its own metaphorical substitute falling from the sky. Oh yeah, over here they say that when a cat washes its face, it rains. I wash my face every day because I like being clean, and that's not true at all. Uh, but I'm not a cat, of course. Alright, we got two IMs. Infiltration route secure. My research is going smoothly. You're just going to talk to me about... We secured a route to the treasure. Yeah, I don't want to send the calling card yet. Uh, research going smoothly. I think I'm really making progress with my research. All thanks to you, of course. Oh yeah, uh, we did hang out with him. And raise his bond, so he should be ready to go. Alright, let's go see him. Thank you, I really do appreciate the help. How about we talk outside? It's raining! <laughs> we can meet up in the courtyard and maybe see you there. Yay! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Alright, hang on a sec, let me get a drink. Well, I just found out how scary cats can be despite their cuteness. Where's this coming from? So... Oh, it happened on my way to school this morning. I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up in a tree. I tried rescuing it since I felt bad for it, but it ended up with a clong of a lifetime for the effort. I had no idea a cat's claws were so sharp. I know, right? It's not the worst. Talk about a reward. I know, right? Speaking from experience, huh? It really does hurt a lot. But I was able to rescue the kitten, so it was all still worthwhile. All I really have to do is make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well, let's move on and talk about a different kind of pain. 
We discussed this for a bit last time we talked, actually. The pain felt within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illnesses. But when it comes to pains of the heart, we're working in unknown territory. There's so much we haven't learned yet. Treating trauma sure is difficult when it's invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way, like putting antibiotics on a scratch. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I've gotten scratched by Morgana. Mor There's probably at some point he's pissed off Morgana. Is that what you're researching? Oh, how astute of you. As a matter of fact, you're not too far off the mark. Unfortunate as it may be, we all know there's no topical medication that can properly heal a heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <sighs> oh, woe is me! My heart is in such pain, it's like I'm being pierced through the chest. Oh, I have such a torturous burning deep inside me. <laughs> sorry, that was a I'm poor sorry. attempt at acting. Please don't look at me like that. But uh, basically what I'm getting at is our own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. That seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand. A person's heart, their pain, cannot be seen. Even if they spent their whole lives expressing it to others, there is no way for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can directly look at their hearts and remove the root causes of their pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to a breakthrough in the field. Once that's been figured out, we'll not only comprehend psychological pains that were once unknowable, but we'll be even able to we'll even be able to perform more effective treatment for those people with wounded hearts. So there's like what you're trying to do is, like, put us out of a job. Um, that's a grand plan. It's nothing so grandiose. But hey, if we can get rid of people's pain, that'd be for the best, right? I'm no fan of pain myself. Well, uh... On the other hand, people have laughed off my idea as just a silly, pointless dream, and I can't say that I blame them. But still, you take the time to listen to what I have to say, and you actually try to understand. Thanks to you, I can tell I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say you're making this hazy, hard to grasp idea finally appear before me. This dude just like... This dude is just like the walking metaverse, isn't he? You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. Hey, say, would you like trying to be my assistant? Of course, I'm on a shoestring budget, so I wouldn't be able to pay you. Is there snacks? That sounds fun, I'm not the free labor type. Ah, that sounds fun. Oh, sounds great. Oh, surprisingly eager. Maybe you really will become a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I truly am grateful for your assistance. Thank you. But I didn't get no snacks. Where are my snacks? Counselor, rank up, rank four. We didn't even get an ability. Metaverse is a manifestation of the mind. This guy like, I know, but this guy like, Seems to know too much. <laughs> All right. Your counselor confidant has increased to rank four. I'm suspicious of him. You will now earn more XP from Arcana Burst when fusing a Persona. So the counselor Arcana, which we finally have one, I think. We did. I've at least seen it. Let's put a pin in that for today, shall we? I hope you'll lend an ear again when you've got the time to spare. Now, I know you've been waiting for this, so let's get to the mental training. I might feel stronger. Right. Oh, there, there we go. Snack. We got a happy pot. Be careful, okay? Alright, be careful on your way home. Maruki is just a good lad. Maruki knows too much. Do you have a minute? Today got pretty one-sided. I just ended up rambling again. This keeps happening. Well, that happens when I'm, you know, a silent protagonist. I should have asked this sooner, but is the le is this leaving you with any mental fatigue? Is your schoolwork being affected? I feel completely fine. Really? Thank goodness. I was worried. 
Not every guy wants a middle-aged weirdo rambling to them about a bunch of philosophical abstracts. I know it's asking a lot, but it'd be great if we could keep... Oh, wait. Oh, the station? Sorry, I think that this tourist needs help. I better go. Uh, hold on, uh, Shinjuku Station? And you? Oh, you got no money, huh? Well, he's got a problem. Rain, huh? Yeah, I know. You hate the rainy season. Did he leak the photo? I've been doing searches for it, but I ain't found anything yet. Hmm? It's possible to search for photos on the internet? Yeah, you just gotta put in a few keywords. Shujin, student council president, club, drinking... It's truly that simple to find images online? Dude, have you never searched for porn? Study? I could study. Yep, but a lot of pictures still won't show up that way. This is the only way I got, though. I think we're safe for the time being. If that photo had been put online, it would be big news by now. Uh, we're in, we're in the clear. But who knows when I'll change his mind. Either way, we'll be finished if that photo ever gets out. Oh, guess we just gotta make sure that never happens. Yo. I know the box came for you. Amazon Prime! Black Rock 2. Black Robe 1. Must be what you ordered off the TV. Um... I don't kind of want to see who's available. Actually, I'm kind of wondering, like... I'm kind of wondering if, um... When's the rain gonna let out? If, when the fortune teller shows back up. Also, what's this movie? This one is... Wow. Like a dragon... Hmm. Guts, okay. Well. Daytime? Okay. I thought I'd come by during the daytime and What's she up? wasn't here. Alright. I don't really want to go to Oya. Shibuya. Okay, yeah, let's see who's in Shibuya. Need a request first. Uh, Shibuya is the gun store still. Let's try the... Let's try the burger challenge. I have no idea where Yusuke is. I kind of want to try the burger challenge, though. So that's what I'm going to do. I think we can do it now. Press square and it will tell you. Okay. I'm pressing square here and nothing's happening. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Eway. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's good. I, oh, yeah. Oh, it'll even tell you if you can boost up. Alright, okay. Um... So he's not in the area, so I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna do the burger. Because I think we can do the... The next burger st uh, stage here. Welcome to Big Bang Burger over 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. Let's take the challenge! Um... You might be able to gain some guts if you do the challenge. Uh, he did express reservation. Is my knowledge not good enough? Did I need knowledge? I thought it was proficiency, guts, and something else. Thank you very much. Boom. Well, then. I like some of the art I've seen of some of the comics where Joker's just. Hmm. Wandering around with a giant chunk of Big Bang Burger in his hand. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah, I need more knowledge. Okay. Yep. Hmm. We're still got guts. Wanna head back?
All right, time to... I'm never gonna skip this fucking class, am I? Only 11 days left. Are the demands still coming in? Yes, lately I've been getting calls from men I don't even know. It seems they changed their strategy, surely according to Kaneshiro's orders. Are you gonna be okay? I am. I can't say it feels particularly great, though. But as long as he considers me a valuable commodity, I believe he won't do anything too rash. We cannot be entirely sure of that fact, though. Who knows when he may decide to turn to violence? East case right. I fully expect that will happen once the deadline is passed. Then again, who knows if he's even going to keep his promise in the first place. Come on, we gotta talk- take care of him before shit hits the fan. Uh, it is really tempting. It is really tempting to go ahead and do it. Let's see. Alright, Yusuke's there now. Alright, let's... Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't do anything with her yet. Alright, we'll go to Yusuke. We'll go to the hideout we're gonna talk about. Good stuff. Walkway. Underground walkway. Okay. Oh, there he is. Now then. We have finally reached the treasure, so we, shall we deliver the calling card today? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Okay. We have made it to the treasure's location. Let us send the calling card as soon as possible. Now then. Well, Yusuke is all about sending that calling card, apparently. Okay. All right, fuck it. In the case, we'll send it. Indeed. Understood. In that case, please go on ahead of me. Oh, Ryuji, hello. I mean, if he's not going to do anything until we send the calling card, we probably want to go ahead and send the calling card so we free him up, I guess. Ah, uh, hey, hey, Makoto. <laughs> Just call her queen. Is something wrong? Nah, nah, it, it's nothing. Well, it definitely doesn't seem like it's nothing Both to you. it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, I I've been doing a little thinking, and, uh, how do I put it? Uh, uh, I guess I was thinking about coming up with a new move, like a uh, special tag team move kind of thing. <laughs> this is how Ryuji flirts. <laughs> So, I got this idea while playing a video game, and, um, uh, it's a move that's gonna need your help. My help? You <laughs> know what? <laughs> Never mind. I just saw something like it in the game and thought it looked cool. And when I try to say it out loud, it seems too insane. But Morgana and Ahn need to be together to do Showtime. Insane, huh? Clearly, the only choice is to replace Joker. So, in other words, you may have come across a special attack that outclasses any of our previous moves. I... what? Why don't you tell me your idea? <laughs> By the way you described it, it must be a pretty good one. <laughs> uh, alright. Just don't get mad at me, okay? Oh, this is gonna be good. I see. And Ryuji gets slapped. <laughs> so stupid, right? Yeah, I was just joking. <laughs> please, please forget what I said. <laughs> that could work. Uh, yeah, that could work. <laughs> Wait, what? But if we're going to do this, we'll have to push ourselves harder than ever before. Think you can keep up? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we're gonna show him the real meaning of pain. We should probably get going now, though. I wouldn't want to make everyone else wait. Yeah. 
This is gonna be so dumb, isn't it? All that's left is the calling card, right? We should send it. I would agree, but it will not be an easy task this time. You only need one member of a Shotan team for it to happen. It has a higher chance of happening if both are in, but not necessary. Also, I think he's better for this fight. Yeah, nobody actually knows him. <sighs> There's so goddamn much I want to write on the calling card, <laughs> too. Oh, yeah! So, get this. I was talking with Makoto earlier, and we came up with this insane move. Uh, insane? Well... I mean, not in a bad way. It's a bit difficult to explain with words alone. Don't worry, I'll take care of explaining. All right, so the plan is... Huh? Did it just... Huh? Did the star just light up? I should really carry what this in something besides my pocket. So it's just like how it reacted with Lady On and I last time? It doesn't react at all at other times, though. I don't get how this thing works. Instead of granting wishes, maybe it just offers a bit of support. As long as it benefits us in some way, I'm happy. Then let's give it a try when there's an opportunity. Make sure to match my timing, okay? <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Ryuji and Makoto's showtime has been unlocked. Okay. You guys gonna hate me? I forgot that I need to send... I need to go shopping before we send the calling card. It just occurred to me in the middle of that that I want to go do our equipment shopping first. Or at least see what new weapons and guns are available. Because this is usually what I do right before the boss. Maybe I can do Yusuke now? We can try it. <sighs> oh. There he goes. You again? I need to ask him about modified model guns. So what are you here for? Uh, I want to make a purchase. <sighs> I need coffee too. It wouldn't hurt, but I mean, I can make coffee. Even... Uh, yeah, we'll see if maybe I, I've unlocked the ability to... Spend time okay. with Yusuke. I think the cutscene needs to be triggered first. All right, we can try it. Uh, sell all the treasure. You should be grateful. Also, wouldn't mind doing laundry. All right. All right, let's see here. All right, which one? Skinning knife. That's a pretty significant upgrade. Yeah, we'll do that. That's what you're choosing. Don't break it, okay? Equip. Sell it. Ryuji, heavy mace. Actually, both a downgrade from Morgana. Sleeper blade. Um. Compare. Ninety. Yeah. Probably worth it. Mm, that one. Do I get? On Warrior Whip, I got better. Yusuke. A sword that cannot cut Kanjak. Interesting description. We'll wait until I'm actually going to use them more. Uh, both a downgrade. All right, That's um, what you're choosing? No, let's wait. It's, Take it's, your not, time. it's not that significant. We can wait on that upgrade. Um, Sounds good. Oh no, I want revolver. What guns can we buy? Okay. Specifically for Makoto. We can unlock the confidant that allows us to change All the numbers right, I mean that's fair. Like I'm not I'm not complaining about it. It's it's good advice. Um isn't that like a magnum? Hmm, yeah, we'll buy it. You better not use it to pull a prank. It's still a little bit weird that he doesn't... He doesn't buy his own guns back. 
Oh, that's that's what you're choosing. Better. Don't break it, okay? That's yeah, okay. Mm. Sandhawk. Yeah, I kind of want to go ahead and do this. Like the high shock effect is nice, but it's only four rounds. Mm, that one, you better not use That really it does bother me. In which case, I'll shut up about Freddy Kong because it won't matter. Uh, alright. I think we're done Let's here for again. now. Alright. Now, can we go... Spend time with Yusuke. I was about to say, oh my god, he's gone. Now then. No? Okay. Okay. Um... Thinking. We send this calling card. I should still be able to go out and do one round of laundry. Actually, I could bring. I could bring in. I could have her do the laundry. Wait, 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 wait! I haven't decided. Yet. Shit! Indeed. I didn't want to do that. Um. No. Go home. Hey. All right, do this, go home. Go to the laundromat. Spend 5,000 to have her come do the laundry. Okay. Oh, you can only hire at night. Okay. In that case, never mind. Come on. I was thinking like, if I, if I hired her now, I could do two sets of laundry. But instead, we'll just hire her to do laundry and we'll do coffee. Hmm. Alright, let's send the calling card then. Send the calling card. I guess we should send out the calling card. Now the question is, how do we deliver the calling card to him? Yeah, we don't know where he lives. Morgana can do it. Morgana can do anything. Hmm? Why not use the same method as before? It sounds like Makoto has an idea in mind. And then apparently she did it. Ah, you're back. So, what ended up happening with the calling card? Makoto took Ryuji with her. She specifically mentioned that he would be fine and we have nothing to worry about. Hmm? I wonder what she plans on doing with him. Has anyone heard anything from either of them? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I see. I'm sure it'll be fine if Makoto's there with him. I'd definitely be worried if Ryuji was going alone, though. You have a point. I suppose we will find out tomorrow either way. For now, we should get some rest. Yep, see ya. We only have one shot at this. We Don't finally, let your guard down. We finally strike tomorrow. Make sure you get your prep done. We need to be in top shape for this. All right, now, teacher, do laundry. Hey, wait! Ah, oh, God damn it! seriously? That's weird you think of the fist. All right, then I guess I'm just fucking doing coffee. Oh! Make sure your clothes up. It kind of sucks. Because the city equipment is really good. It's like the best protectors you can get for the palace. I really thought I was going to be able to at least go out in a Yongin and do yes. laundry. All right. Oh, whatever. Point up. Oh, he's not going to give us coffee facts. Boo, no coffee facts. I know, it's because we sent the calling card, but still, I like coffee facts. I wonder what these posters are all about. It's from the Phantom Thieves. Look, there's a bunch over there, too. Is this some kind of stealth marketing campaign? Junya Kaneshiro, who's that? Yeah, oh no, eventually she will, and I will really enjoy that. 
That's why I'm perfectly fine with sinking as much money into her as I can get away with. <sighs> I thought it was gonna be late. Customers were bickering in the convenience store this morning. A young woman wearing all brand clothing and an older man with gold accessories were arguing. Both were on their high horse, and even though they dressed fancily, it felt Novu Rich. Novu Rich. Speaking of, speaking of, the Japanese words for high horse and uh, Novu Rich both originated as shogi terms. A lot of people aren't familiar with shogi, shogi, but it's good to know a little bit about it. So, have you seen this piece before? Do you know the answer? What do you think it says on the back of this piece? Uh... The only shogi term... Yeah, the only shogi term I'm even remotely familiar with is gold. Out of these three answers. I've heard of gold being associated with shogi pieces. This is it. Exactly! I don't remember what particular piece. That's right. The lance and the silver general also have the kanji for gold on the back. By the way, it's said that the two on the back of the pawn piece is a cursive form of gold. In shogi, you can choose to promote your, weight, your pieces under certain conditions. If a knight crosses into enemy territory, for instance, they can promote, becoming mobile as a gold general. A weak piece like a pawn can become gold if you get into the enemy's camp, hence Nivo Rich. Nivo Nivo Rich. I don't know how to pronounce that term. I do, also nice did not God. know that technically two was shogi related, but clearly that piece wasn't a pawn. By the way, Nouveau Rich liked to wear expensive clothes because of a desire to be acknowledged. Once humans fulfill the basic needs of clothing, food, and shelter, our next desire is recognition. That's why people try to make themselves seem bigger by flaunting their power through money. <sighs> Making yourself seem bigger seem, reminds me of a frilled lizard. Excuse me, sir, but, uh, I found this on the car. There's something written on it. Hmm? Read it. Um, but... I said, read it! Mahjong is your vice. Mahjong is one of those games where I'd like to learn it, but I haven't found a really good app or game that teaches it well. Without that doesn't confuse me. <clears throat> Sir Junya Kaneshiro, the money devouring sinner of gluttony. Majso? Okay, I'll look into it. You indulge in scamming others with horrendous m methods that target miners exclusively. You said read it, damn it. Stop stuttering. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. We will take your distorted desires without fail. From the Phantom Thieves. I isn't this bad? <laughs> what of it? If something happened to you, I mean, if the higher-ups find out about this... Don't waste your time worrying about this useless shit. Just keep quiet for now. B but it's posted all around the city. People are talking about it online, too. <sighs> all of you, bring me your earnings. If you don't surpass your quota, I'll kill you. Yes, sir. Phantom thieves, don't make me laugh. Oh no, he's max roided out. Hey, we're leaving. They'll pay for this. Calling card's been posted all over Shibuya. Yep, we got to choose our group name. 
A good idea, no? They'll never use it. <laughs> but we got to choose it. Given the theatrical nature of this one, Kanashiro must surely have been contacted about it. Hang on a second, I'm trying to study that. What the hell is that billboard for? Brilliant fighting pink. Hair dye? New color. Must be hair dye. You truly are the brains of this Phantom Thieves operation. Ryuji, you should follow her example. Uh, you know, I'm the one who went posting it everywhere, right? <laughs> I even had to get all dressed up so they wouldn't notice me. Calm now. We don't have the time for idle chit-chat. Let us get moving. We're going up against a truly horrible criminal this time. That dick ain't gonna stop us now that we got our awesome new member. With her bike. Makoto, you remember how all this works? Once we steal the treasure, the palace will crumble, and the palace ruler's heart will change. And I've got a motorcycle, so I'm not worried about it crumbling. Wow, you got that quick. I think Ryuji's still struggling to comprehend it all. The old me is dead. Makoto the sycophant is gone, and the corrupt adults who controlled her are next. You scare me. Sounds like you're fired up. All right, Joker, give us the signal. All right, let's do this. It's showtime. Everyone take the drugs. <laughs> She's the best. All right, well, YouTube, you'll get to see us take down the palace tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed saw, let me know. Give me a like, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you then. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.